Uh, I work on how cells control their growth and their division, and I specifically how they control the lifetimes of their proteins. And it's a way that cells have to take care of their own garbage. And they have to throw out and eliminate their garbage. Just as, as we do, cells have to do that too. And I study how cells do that. I think there's never complete certainty in science. I mean, it's an experimental method, and there are always ways in which you think you, could, you, think you have it right and you can get it wrong. Um, I think you can be very confident of a result without knowing it for sure, certainty, but I think that the nature of science, really what makes it science as opposed to a type of faith, is the fact that it can be challenged almost at every, every point, and there really is no final certainty in science. I personally think that science is the best way to human enlightenment. I mean, I mean that not in terms of understanding meaning in life. I mean, I think those are, are things that you can't get strictly out of observation and, and looking at, at how the world works physically. But I think that in terms of under, understanding how the world works eliminates a lot of the superstition that's, that people surround themselves with and is a way to get away from that viewpoint and which is difficult to defend. If you can't defend something empirically and rationally, I think that's when people come into conflict with one another and where you don't have, if you don't have science, you're not going to have a good way to choose between different viewpoints and different ways of looking at things. So I, I do think it's a, a major way by which people can become enlightened. Human enlightenment is one of those phrases I'm not quite sure what's meant by that. But uh, in terms of understanding the world and how the world works and how we fit into it, I think science is the way to go. I don't know exactly what the question means. Uh, I think science, it's a very human endeavor. It involves human beings who do the work. It sometimes it is a question of whether the science is geared towards human goals, goals are that things that people want to have happen in their lives and in their world. And I think science is not always going to take them to places they want to go. I think you have to follow science where the, where the results take you, where the empirical results take you. Um, in terms of explaining science to more people, I think it's, we haven't done, scientists in general, and I would be myself included, have not done a great job of explaining why science is important and why it's, uh, what it tells us and what, how it helps us. As in normal to people who are not scientists. And I think in that sense it needs to improve. But to make it more humanitarian, I'm not really sure exactly what that means. So.